Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. Do you have self-resentment? Do you resent yourself for things you did in your drinking career when you're actively out there in your alcoholism? Do you have resentments about yourself? Things that you're holding on to, regrets, guilt, shame, those kind of things? If you do, this video is for you. Because for myself, I had a great deal of difficulty releasing myself of self-resentments. It affected my decision-making and my partners. It affected the way I was assertive to other people, my jobs, choices, my self-worth, my outlook about myself in the world around me. And the reason for that when it came to myself is because I was constantly evaluating myself because of these resentments and because I resented myself, there was a lot of judgment going on. There was a lot of opinions going on about myself and the way I behave and things I've done in the past. Certain situations in my life when I was moving forward in sobriety would trigger these beliefs, would trigger these resentments. And I would constantly relive them within myself. And these things, these resentments were, were so difficult to get rid of. I've never experienced true freedom in my recovery life. I never experienced it. I thought in a 12-step program that as long as we can learn to forgive other people, like it says, it says in step eight and nine, you make a list of people we've harmed and make amends to them. In step nine, we make direct amends to people that we have harmed. I thought if I did that, that would be enough to release me, release me of my resentments against myself and it didn't work and i held on to these resentments for many many years many many years and i never felt emotionally alive that much because they were always draining me i never felt worthwhile like i belonged in a healthy relationship or i deserved a good job it always pounded away they always pounded away at my self-worth and my self-esteem and the way i saw the world if I was harder on myself, that was me telling me that I was accountable for things that I did in the past. Well, we have to be responsible for our sobriety. We really do. But to constantly pound yourself or me pounding myself for my sins of my past or regrets of my past or things that I had no control over is totally, totally unreasonable. It really is. And it's a, it's a belief that I had and it's a bad habit that I formed over the years. Is like the same love and the same forgiveness and understanding that I gave other people in the program when it, or in life in general, I never gave that to myself. I never gave that understanding or that tolerance or that self-love or that understanding I would give a stranger. I used the weapon of I beat my shit out of myself through these resentments. And over the last maybe four or five, I say more like six years, I have generated a freedom in my sobriety that is unspeakable. I have, a no, I have a number of years of sobriety, but I never felt free of myself. I never felt free of my past. And the reason for that is like I explained, self-resentment and that it's not a way to live. That is not a way to live. How did I get away? How did I get myself out of this constant judging myself, you know, judging myself in execution, or how did I get myself out of it? Well, I went to counseling and I was talking to a counselor, it was a 12 step counselor I was talking to, and I talked to the individual and he just simply said to me, Terry, it's time to start forgiving yourself. He actually said to me, for me to pray for forgiveness of myself through a higher power, the same way I would do for someone else that I resented when it comes to the 12 step programs. So I, I did that stuff. But another, a couple of other things I did, not because of the counseling or whatever, just things that I came up with myself. I started to treat myself like my own best friend. I started to be more understanding. Like a lot of the things that I did when I was an active alcoholic, I would never have done if I was not an alcoholic. I would never have done. I would never have been abusive to my girlfriends. I've never stole money 
and caused havoc in my mother's house and in her apartment. I would never have stole vehicles. I would never have lied to people. I've never lied to women or, you know, ripped off banks, you know, write checks with no money in it. There's a lot of things I did or I would have been on time for situations. I wouldn't have let down myself and my employers so much. It's because of my drinking. It's because I'm an alcoholic. I, you know, it has so much bearing on the situation. It wasn't me. When I drank, I thought if I just changed my girlfriend or change where I live or did all this sort of changing the outside world, I would get better. And every time I did that, and every time my life was going a little bit better, alcohol would come up and kick the legs right out from underneath me. And this would cause me to think it was directly a reason of my behavior, direct result of my behavior in my doing. It wasn't the addiction. So when things come up in my life from my past, or I think bad about things I did when I drank, I treat myself with a little bit of understanding. I say to myself, Terry, you have never did it if you weren't an alcoholic. You wouldn't be watching my video if you weren't an addict or an alcoholic. You wouldn't be watching this video about resentment. So I started to develop an understanding and rewriting the story in my life. A lot of things, a lot of trauma that happened to me in a younger life that I sort of held myself accountable, I didn't behave properly, was I had no control over it. I had no control over the way the adults treated me when I was a younger teenager. I had no control over that. The way I behaved and the way I acted, you know, it's not my fault. So I started to rewrite the story. Taking responsibility for my behavior is very important, but I started to rewrite the story. So that story became more realistic and it created balance within my emotional, my mental, in my physical life, I started to get more balance and I started to treat myself like a friend. Like, yeah, I am not perfect. I am not perfect. I am going to make mistakes. And when I make mistakes, and when I make mistakes, I'll own up to it and I'll try better next time. But I don't have to sit there and say, I'm a fuck up, I'm a screw up. I, I'll never get sober. I'll never become a better person. I'll never have a girlfriend. I'll never have a marriage because that one failed. Those kind of, those kind of ultimatums, the world is black and white. That way of thinking had to leave. My way of thinking when it came to myself and the world around me became very gray. People become the way they are because they have a story. We all have a story that we are living. But to resent and hold on to these resentments is terrible because that's not the truth. The truth is, is the way you're living now, trying to be a better person one day at a time. That's the truth. We have to be more tolerant on ourselves, more loving, more caring, more self-care, and more understanding that we are doing the best we can for what we got to deal with. And over time, this way of thinking got me, I uh, became more freer of myself. And I want to point out one something, something that's really important. The more we resent ourselves, the more those resentments will become real in our lives. We'll relive those resentments in our behavior. We'll relive those, beha those resentments in our words, in the way we think. So once we release ourselves of resentment, of self-resentment, or at least try working on it, we become better people not just to ourselves, but to the world around me. Learning to forgive ourselves and the letter sells off the hook, you know, get off our own back, is one of the biggest gifts I've gotten in sobriety. But it takes work and it takes looking at yourself and understanding what's going on. Is that real? Did I really do that? Is there a reason I did that? Can I? Forgive myself, can I just let it go? I am not that person anymore. I am trying to be a better individual. Alcoholism rubs away at our moral compass within us. It rubs away at us all the time. We do things that morally we wouldn't do if we were sober. And that's one of the biggest issues when it comes to self-resentment is that rubbing against the, you know, the evil alcoholism in our morality. 
it just you know, rubs and rubs and rubs against us and we become thinking we're impure or we're broken but we're not we're alcoholics trying to do the best we can one day at a time and you are a gift if you're silver or you're thinking on getting silver it is a fantastic fantastic way to be it's not easy but you know something nothing worthwhile in life really is that easy a lot of it takes work effort determination reaching out for help and just taking it one day at a time you know i can't emphasize how much self-resentment destroyed my way of life one day at a time i looked okay but i was beating myself up constantly about sins of the past and that is no good that is not good for you nor is it any good for me okay like i said before my name is terry g this is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time if you like what i what you heard please leave a comment below if you didn't like what you heard or hear or whatever leave a comment below but can you all do me one favor can you please subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it this is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time i'll see you later see you next week thanks a lot for stopping by and hey one day at a time ciao for now bye bye